Welcome to Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine's web show. My name is Jackie. On today's show, we're going to be talking about Smooch Spritz Clear Snap. You're going to love it. Let's get started. We are going to be creating this gorgeous vintage tag using a whole lot of spritz. To get started, we're going to cut out some shapes or the tag using some spellbinders, nestabilities, and some magenta pattern paper. As well as we're going to cut out some of these great flowers with these nestabilities. What we love about the nestabilities are that we can use them in any die cut machine. For today's show, we used the Stampin' Up! Big Shot. So here we've got our magenta pattern paper that we use to make this nice tag. And then we have some more magenta paper for the flowers, some cardstock, and a letter H from the Kaiser Craft uh, chipboard. We also are going to be using some Nikki Sipple's buttons, the Cropodile, Stampin' Up! marker, and of course, our smooch spritz. Let's go right into spritzy. We're going to move our color catcher, which is right here. This color catcher is from Clear Snap. It is an absolute must have for all spritzers of life, of walks of light. Basically, the spritz stays in here and doesn't go anywhere here, which is really important for your workstation and your project. Let's place our die cuts that we created inside the color catcher along with our letter H from Kaiser Craft. And then we're going to take our smooch spritz and we're going to shake it back and forth just like this. And as we shake it you're going to see that the sediments, all that glittery stuff, is uh, no longer floating around. And then we're going to spritz. And we're going to do the same thing with this gorgeous, vintagey brown smooch spritz. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking the table. Oops, I'm shaking so much, I'm shaking the table. There we go. Take off the lid and spray. Let's get that H really good. Very nice. Now, these might take a little while to dry, so you'll want to make sure that it dries uh, thoroughly before you use it. We have some dry ones right here to work with. And you can see very nicely all the fabulous shimmery shine that we have going on. This one you can really see the shimmer. And this H we're going to work with first. With my Stampin' Up! marker, I'm going to edge it. I'm going to go around just like this. All the way around the edge and I'm going to really make it pop up like that. You can use a marker instead of ink when edging. Absolutely. There we go. Finish that up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take these die cut flowers and we're going to age them. We're going to age them by crinkling and crumpling just like this all kinds of things with them to make them look vintagey. The same thing right here with this cardstock one, the brown one. We're going to squeeze it and crumple it and tear it a bit. We want this to look older. Perfect. Then we're going to take a brad from Nikki Civils. It looks like a button, but it's not. It's a brad. They're nice and corduroy effect. Pop it out like that. We're going to nest the small one, small flower, into the big flower. Hence the word nestabilities from Spellbinders. And we're going to push the brad through just like that. Open it up. And there we've created, we can even crumple it a bit here and then spread it out. We've created a gorgeous flower. Now with this tag, we want to do the same thing. We want it to look really old. So we're going to take our fingers and we're going to roll up the edges just like this. 
a little bit like this. We're going to tear it a bit. You can even go with some ink and edge it if you like, or you can take your brown marker. Just roll it up, dirty it up a bit, make it look nice and old. Then I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile, and I'm going to use the Big Punch. I'm going to punch a hole right there. I'm going to take this great uh, ribbon that looks like Baylor twine-like feels, and I'm going to thread it through just like this. And it's okay, it's a really thick ribbon. It's okay if it rips it a bit because we're going for the vintage tattered look. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to take a little piece of this string that I have, and I'm just going to wrap it around like so, and tie it in a knot. And I'm going to try to use my fingers here to make it stay. I'm a mom, I can do many things at once. Perfect. And there we have it. Now we can assemble it. Oh. We can take our little journaling cards that we have right here. We can use our Stampin' Up! marker and go ahead and journal. Now what you'll see here that Lisa did on her tag is, is that she cut a little tab right here after she assembled everything together. She cut a little tab and then she wrapped the string around and it slipped into this tag so that it wouldn't slip off. It's a brilliant idea. Thank you Lisa for sharing that with us. You can see how we've used smooch spritz in another way on Lisa's layout here. She's taken the Kaiser Kraft uh, al chipboard alphabet. She's adhered it with a repositional um, adhesive right here. And then she's taken the smooch spritz and spritz, 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 spritz. And then she's pulled off the chipboard letters to create this stunning masked effect for a title. She's also used some fantastic uh, flowers for Prima Marketing. I wish you could feel these. They're all pokey and really give this layout some texture. This all comes together beautifully with this We Are Memory Keepers patterned paper. The other great thing that she's used from Prima is this flower right here. It actually is a white flower just like this that's made specifically for coloring and inking. So you can see when I grab one out of here that it's nice and white. And earlier on today, we have colored it with the smooch spritz. So you can see that these guys just soak up the color and they can just do worlds and different kinds of things. Be afraid of spritz no more. Start spritzing today. Until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.